all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform where they give a back-to-back -back updates on how things they be on how things they share for biafra land and beyond if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too also remember to like and share this broadcast too Okay, my wonderful people, I see the hot way now, so we go, they give them straight to, nah, I, my people, they won't wait, they hot now, be say, yes, they want S and D, whoa, if they are, the camera don't, they follow them, as uh, they don't, they cry, they talk, say, uh, nobody, they come their meeting again, yeah, they don't raise a land, they talk, say, nobody, they come their meeting again. Yes, uh, this is coming straight from the PM. He say breaking news. The uh, high raises alarm, laments. Nobody is coming to their meeting again. The one young called the meeting and nobody showed up. Dear friends, do you all remember when we gave them vote of no confidence? <laughs> do you all remember when we gave them vote of no confidence? And I said they will never rise again. I will be posting the evidence this evening. It is a bombshell. Ohaneze is gone. Five Simon Epa, Biafra and C. My fellow Biafrans, how proud of you. How proud are you that you are part of this generation? <laughs> My people, now not now no mountain say this kind of things just they happen for our area because uh, you go see say this set of people don't they don't they you don't they too much. Because we understand how far these uh on S and Debo people have been messing up. And how they've not been doing the things that we expected them to do. And people with this on hands and deep, but instead of them to act as people that are supposed to stand in the gap to make things better for for Ndibo in this country, most of them will go and be collecting bribes and collect uh, and deciding what these other set of people are doing. Most of the times when they do these things, we look at them and we are like, are these not people that are supposed to be doing something differently? I don't know people we expect to actually do things this same and support the cause of everything we've been doing. But no, it always ends up that uh, they keep messing up and they keep doing the things they want to do rather than the things that are supposed to be done. And uh, it is it is very, 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 very disheartening that that is what everything that we've been doing comes to. At the end, we come to understand that this set of people are not just it. Every single thing they've done, most of the time, is not just there. My people, it is very, very heartbreaking. It is very, 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 very heartbreaking to the core that uh, that is what happens on Hanez and Debo. That is supposed, the supposed leaders would be siding the, 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 the federal government, would be siding most of the things that are happening. And then they would have the guts to even fight against Simon Eba, P M B R G I E Simon Eba, and fight against the movement. Saying a whole lot of things that they are not supposed to say. Most of the times, the, 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 the fact that they will not even move forward to the extent that we want to be uh, up till now is because of this set of people that are in it. And now they are meeting is not moving forward. Nothing they've ever tried to do is even moving forward. And you think about it and you start asking yourself, wow, what is wrong? What in these things have been happening that is causing this wahala? Why? But then you see that uh, these people have decided on their own just to be different, just to do things that are not right, just to support things that are not right. And it, 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 it just does not make sense. It, is, it does not make sense on any level. And now they are facing the consequences of every single thing they've been doing. And my people, uh, believe you me, they would keep facing it because uh, they have, they've not said seeing the end. They've not said seeing the end. Because I do not understand how these things will be happening it just gives a warning to every single person out there that is trying to to fight against the pm or want to fight against the movement because because you will fail and you will not only fail you the, the consequences of your actions will come upon you that's the truth of the matter the consequences of your actions will come upon you and that is exactly what is happening they are given a whole lot a recording of about one hour that the whole thing exposed in 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 everything in on everybody concerning how everything has been and that is the truth of the matter that is the whole truth of the matter and you think about it and you're like nah, eh, how are these people even doing these things how are they making sure how are they not doing the things that are expected of them to do without us finding out or without even getting to understand that these people are not there at all they are in nowhere there at all and they are not doing these things that are expected of them to do and so that is how it is let us all have in mind that uh, if you keep misbehaving whoever it is if you keep misbehaving and uh, 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 misbehaving around the things that happen 
it will finally, one way or another, one way or another, it will finally touch. It will finally, it will finally come against you. That is the law of the ground. That is the law of everything. And the earlier we get to understand this, the better for every single one of us. That is, that is the truth of the matter. The earlier we get to understand this, the better for all of us. Because if not, that's why you could just they hurt everybody here and there. That's why you could just any land. And as PM has said it, which means that if anybody tries to give them a land, that means uh, they will feel the wrath of the Biafra Liberation Army or the Biafra Navy, depending the ones that are around that particular area that you want to give them. Because giving them our land is giving them authority to come into our land and to misbehave, and which is not going to be tolerated at all. It is not going to be tolerated. If you want to give them land, send all of them back to Sokoto. Or you follow them and go back to Sokoto. Since you decide you want to, you're looking for ways to give them land. My game, my hand, honey, lecha, all of you will leave. Because you cannot be caught doing such a thing. You cannot be caught be giving these people our land. These people that do not, that care less about anything that concerns Ndibo. That would kill you if you give them the chance. In fact, giving them that land, giving them an authority to come into your land is you're giving them permission to stab you. To, to come into your lands and to rape your women and to do whatever it was because this is what they can do and that is the truth of the matter the fact that they, they are coming now and it looks like they are begging and you want to succumb to it you are on your own you are you are really on your own and what these people will do <laughs> what these people will do if we let them in is like it's like suicide to so we ourselves. We are, we are committing suicide if we let these people in, into our own area. And so that is why we are here to go against whatever it is that they, at any point in mind, that these people are bringing against, against this whole movement. Yes, that is the truth of the matter. We need to put our heads down and reject whatever it is. Because this particular move is a move against the, the Biafra movement. You cannot say anything less. They've noticed that uh, there is progress, there is full-time progress with the Biafra Liberation Army and the PM making moves with the, with the new, new, new um, the convention that is about to take place. All eyes on Biafra, all hail Biafra. And that is the issue at hand right now. The fact that they, they, they are able to see that there is progress, they want to look for a way to reduce the progress, to put katakata, to put problems where we did. And we are not going to allow that. That is just it. We cannot allow that. And my people, wherever you are, Ndi Ibuanyi, if you cite anything, give information. We need this information. Information is power. And that's the end of the talker. Information is power. So far as we know about something that is happening in your area that looks like it's a secret. Let us know. Let us know. That is just that. Just let us know, and we'll be able to do something about it. It will get to PM Simon Epa, and something will be done about it. It is no joke. Nothing we do here is a joke. No information we ask for here is taken as a joke. If you are giving us legit information, then the information will be taken seriously and we will be acted upon. And that is what is expected of everyone. So, if you see something, say something. Say something to the, to the expected means, to the expected uh, 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 channels which have been uh, given to you. So that things would actually happen the way it should. Things will actually take place the way it should and not the way any other person wants it to. And that is the reason. We need to be warned. You see, this particular information dissemination is a reason why we need to be warned. Because if we are not united in this movement, if we are not united in the way that we are supposed to coordinate ourselves and do things on our own, do things the way they are supposed to do, then do things the way it's supposed to be, then we cannot, we cannot move forward. And that is the truth of the matter. We cannot move forward. We need to do things. We need to do things the way they should be. So that things will end up exactly exactly how we want them to we are in the Ibo, fighting for our rights this thing we are fighting for is not it's not something that uh, we woke up one morning and decided to fight for it's a lie you are fighting for something that is ours it is our birthright and we we know that this is what we need and so we need to keep fighting for it anytime any day we need to fight for it because that is what we deserve we deserve their freedom
we deserve everything we are holding there we hold there we deserve it and we'll get it so long as we ourselves do our own part by by walking along and doing the necessary things that is expected of us and so yes my people this is your come to the end of this particular podcast thank you for joining us remember subscribe and turn on your notifications too thank you